Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Thursday, March 2nd, and we need to do week eight, week eight's weigh in. So my intentions was to get this video up to you guys like Wednesday, I wanted to shoot it, and I feel like I'm looking up. I don't like that, hold on a second. Okay, that's a little bit better. My intentions were to get this video up to you guys on Wednesday, but I do wanna be transparent in saying that Tuesday after work, I found out that one of my mentors passed away and i just needed to sit with that for a little bit like she was a major not just a major supporter of my channel but also of my life so i just needed some time to digest that and that is why this video is finally being filmed and uploaded here thursday morning march 2nd oh also um now that i can like actually like talk about her a little bit without like bawling, crying. Um, like she passed away with pancreatic pancreatic cancer. And one of the things she told me, like she was just telling me like how proud she was of me and my weight loss journey. And she's like, but like pancreatic cancer, I highly do not recommend this method of weight loss. So like even in her, she was just such a, I'm gonna write about it in a bit, but not yet. I don't wanna talk too much because I still may start crying a little bit. But she was just such an inspiration to me and health was like a major bond of our relationship so in short what i want to say is like part of me continuing my journey part of me continuing my journey will be a way in which i feel i can honor her like i wish that she would have been here to see me finally hit my goal but okay let's move on all right guys so i mentioned before that um what I'll do is I'll share like a recap of the week and share with you guys like the highs and the lows of the week. And um, so you guys see that currently I'm here in the home gym. Today is not a lift day, it's actually a cardio day. So I'll be walking this morning instead of lifting, but I didn't want to move the ring light or the camera set up. So that's why we're here in the gym. All right, so I have a couple things I do want to talk to you guys about. First, let's do the weigh-in. Okay, so you guys know week seven, I weighed in at 220 pounds, 220.0 pounds. Well, I'm very pleased to share that yes, even after eating all of that food, all of those calories, like eating whatever my little heart desired, I still lost weight. So this week on Monday, I think, Sunday or Monday, I weighed in at, I'll put it here, 218.6 pounds. So that puts me at a loss of 1.4 pounds. I'm really excited. It may not look like I'm excited, but I am really excited about, about that. Um, so I do wanna share a few positives and I wanna share some pros and cons with you guys. And some of the, one of the cons that I'm gonna share with you guys is very personal, very private. So just hang in there with me. So some of the pauses was that, I have my notes here, was that as far as like time management goes for last week, I felt that I did a really great job with that. Um, as far as like getting in my workouts and you know, my water and sleep and all of that stuff. And also making time to film, edit and upload videos. I am really proud of myself. But also a con was that I did, decrease my sleep by a little bit in order to make all of that happen. But thankfully it did not show up on the scale, so I am appreciative of that. Okay, another pro was that last week I was able to incorporate like a little bit more sugar. I had two like small cookies and I also had like some chocolate, which I'll insert all of that in here. And thankfully it did not show up on the scale, so that was nice. The con is that although it did not show up, the extra sugar, because I don't typically eat sugar, and I don't know why I even dabbled and played with it a little bit. Not like I'm beating myself up about it. I just wanted to see, I'm gonna be honest. I wanted to experiment and see. So, although it did not show up on the scale, it did show up on my face. I'll put a picture here. So I was showing a little bit of some teenage acne. I had that going on last week. So honestly, it was not worth the trade off at all. Like I'm a 41 year old woman. I don't want to look like a teenager. Yeah, it showed up. It didn't show up on the scale, so, but it did show up on my face. Okay, um, another positive was that Sunday, I spent the day at the beach with my husband. It was so, it was just such a nice time, a nice time to have some relaxation and just like recharge our battery a little bit because last week was, it was a go, go, go week. So it was just really nice to be able to relax and recharge and catch up and 
you know, all of that good stuff. So that was a lot of fun. But I do want to share, like, there was a positive to that. And then there was also a con that happened with it. But the negative aspect, for me, it only lasted for about, like, five to seven minutes. And then I was able to shove it and push it away. But what I want to do is I want to share with you guys two pictures of me in the same swimsuit. So the first picture, um, I'll put like left or right, I don't know. But the picture with me, I'm gonna talk and like put the pictures on top of it. So the picture with me like sitting down was actually from last year around um, May 1st or so. And in this picture, I felt really confident. Like I've always felt pretty confident in a swimsuit, not a big deal, whatever. I see here, like I feel honestly that the swimsuit probably fit me a little bit better in the first picture but then on the second picture the one with me as you guys can see with me standing up ah uh, so i still felt very confident in the swimsuit no big deal but sunday was the first time that i felt like all of my hard work like i wasn't able to appreciate all of my hard work and it it only lasted for like five to seven minutes as i say it um but i felt like i was working so hard but you guys i am literally melting out of my skin sunday was like the first time where i really saw like all of the extra skin that's just starting to hang like um, especially like here in my arms and then also like around my abdomen area because I'm losing weight and I am getting smaller um, I am really I can see it in myself like I'm starting to kind of like just melt out of my skin and I just was like oh not disgusted but it felt like you're working so hard towards something and like you're so dedicated and so focused like you only want the good parts of it right like you don't want any of the like i don't want saggy skin let's just be honest and it's not even like a vain thing but a vanity thing but like it changes the way that your clothes fit it changes the way that um especially like in my workouts and stuff i don't know if you guys see a lot but i actually like i make sure to wear high waisted pants and i pull my pants like up as much as i can over my stomach because the skin that's hanging like it actually, it hurts a little bit. I don't know if I'm even explaining this right, but like if it's positioned wrong, it actually kind of hurts a little. So that is something that I've got to get used to um, for a while. But the way I told you guys, I coached myself out of it. But the way that I coached myself out of it is that I've actually just started a sinking fund, which is like where you save money over time for whatever it is you're trying to save up for. But I started a sinking fund so that eventually and i'm thinking this is probably going to be like a year or more than a year even two years out like once i've hit the goal my goal weight where i feel like i've kind of settled into my body a bit i will be getting a tummy tuck skin removal whatever it is i need to do to make myself just to make myself feel like the way that i want you know like especially if, if i lose a hundred pounds like there is no way in heck i am going to not have the athletic body that i Feel that I deserve because I have like extremely saggy skin or um, just like it's just been stretched I gained 72 pounds in pregnancy I um, I had the fibroids like I'm not justifying myself I'm telling you guys I'm like sharing with you where my thoughts off where my thoughts are because honestly I don't feel like I need anyone's permission I was even trying to tell my husband about it and he's like babe like you're fine blah, blah, blah. and I was like mm -mm, no bro like I appreciate your support which he is so incredibly supportive but this is just something where if i feel i need it i'm going to do it for me and don't worry i will share the journey with you guys so you don't ever have to wonder like did she do it i'm gonna tell you i'm not gonna hide anything no secrets here with me at all um and but in the meantime i will continue with intermittent fasting which autophagy is known to help um like contract the skin and shrink it back a bit so and then i'll also continue with weight training so that hopefully i can put some muscle in that loose skin i don't know we'll see what happens and i'll continue to work on my core and all of the things that i feel that i could do on my end but i did want to share that with you guys and like i said it only lasted for like a few minutes and then i was over like i still felt like mm, 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 mm. you know what i mean but because it did happen i wanted to share it in case some of you reach this point in your journey or if you've ever been here in your journey where you kind of felt like dang like I'm so proud of my hard work but like what the heck like what is this hanging from my body like that is literally how I felt but like I said I was able to coach myself through it um another 
um, negative that happened, not negative. So another thing that happened is that I'm not getting my 70,000 steps in which I would like to do because whenever I'm working out, like lifting weights, of course, I'm not stepping, stepping as much, right? And I know that many people will probably um, feel like, well, you know, you're still working out. It's not like you're not working out. But I have a very sedentary job. I'll show you guys a snapshot here of my steps for the week. I'll insert them all in here. So yeah, I have a very sedentary job. So if I don't actively, proactively get my behind up and move, I don't move very much. I sit around in the car and I drive all day. And yeah, so I'm not very active. So I definitely need to work on that. And yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to share with you guys about week eight, some of the things that happened. I am so proud of myself. I really am. I'm so proud that I'm starting to lose weight again. And I'm so proud that I'm finding a way in which I can eat that I feel like I can maintain like for a really long time in my life. Um, this is currently week nine that I'm in. I will share with you guys next week where I did modify um, my eating plan some this week because Tuesday, I had already closed my eating window. Well, I'm gonna tell you guys now. So Tuesday, I had already closed my eating window and then when I pulled in the driveway after work, I was just kind of like sitting and going through my phone. I just like to take some time while I'm sitting in the car. Um, before coming in the house. And like, that's when I kind of like found out that my mentor had passed away and I just needed to sit with those feelings. And I'm a person, like I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't fight, like I don't do any of those things, but food has always been a way in which I'm able to cope if needed. So I did reopen my window Tuesday night, even though I had already had my 500 calories. And I'll probably share with you guys like the types of things. I won't call it a binge, but I was definitely soothing. And I made myself a large salad and some popcorn because that's just one of the ways in which I've learned to cope with those heavy feelings so that even though um, I'm honoring and allowing myself to feel what I feel and I am fully aware that I was using food as a coping mechanism, but I've learned to do it in a way that is so much more healthier than I did many years ago, like with ice cream and pizza and all of that stuff. I've learned to do it in a way that I can convince myself that the foods that I'm eating are actually helping me to heal. And it wasn't like an overindulgence, it was just my window was closed and I knew I was starting to spiral. So, um, yeah, that's what I did. And I could have done other things. There's been times where I've actually gone for a walk or I've gone to work out or I've done other things, but honestly, I didn't really feel like doing any of that. I didn't feel like taking off my scrubs and putting on workout clothes and I didn't, I didn't feel like doing it. So I took a shower and allowed myself to just watch some YouTube videos and have a salad and popcorn. All right, guys, so that's all I have for you in this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to hear anything you guys want to share with me or if you have any comments, questions, all of that stuff. I'm looking forward to doing a live video on Saturday. Let me know what topics you'd like to discuss and I'll be sure to post the time for the live on Saturday because I just really want to check in with you guys, see how everyone's doing, touch bases and all of that good stuff. <laughs> That's it. So as always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.